Hey, this is Prometheus giving you another scheme breakdown and ebook out of the Tennessee Titans playbook. I was referred by one of my subscribers, 1337 Benny Voom. Uh, he recommended I take a look at this playbook, and boy, this is a phenomenal playbook. There's a lot of great schemes and sets and plays in here, so this is worth taking a look at. I decided to break down three different formations, starting with the single back ace wing then the week close and then I'm going to close out with the gun wide trips halfback week and uh, so you can see how it works against a live opponent I'm going to show you a live ranked on guy online game so you can see how that works so let's go ahead and break down this part right here all right so this formation the week close it comes standard week close out of the Tennessee Titans playbook and um, with the Tennessee team they actually their best running back ironically is their fullback that's injured on the roster uh, but if you have a dominant fullback or just another running back that you want to do you want to put him at the fullback position now the base plays are going to be basically running plays I'm either going to pick the fullback dive or I'm going to pick the inside zone uh, the inside zone actually is for running to the outside but the fullback dive is going to be the play to actually go ahead and, and abuse my opponent in between the guard and the center. Um, the audible is going to be the halfback gut is going to be one of the audibles and then bench switch very effective play to, to beat my opponent with mesh is going to be the other audible and then the other base audible is going to be the play action boot uh, 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 which is going to be the other audible so let's go ahead and take a look at the running plays and go from there so let's start off with the fullback dive because this is definitely going to be something your opponent has going to have to defend against all right, so with a fullback dive, uh, all I really do is I go ahead and hit left bumper and I push down on my right stick to pinch the line to try to provide myself some blocking. And uh, what I can do is just go ahead and run right up the hole for those hard yards. Do pinch the line, and I'd like to have this play flip just so it gives a different look to my opponent. And I'm just going to go ahead and look for the double team or the hole. But as you can see, when you're picking up five or six yards with a dive, it really can become annoying uh, for your opponent to defend against that. So he'll start having to crowd the line and do whatever he can to go ahead and stop the dive play because those five or six yards are really going to eat him up and harass him. Now the next, uh, next base play we're going to look at is going to be the inside zone. Now this play is actually going to take yourself to the outside just because of the angles that your opponent has to take. So it's really, really nice to be able to go ahead and hit the outside. And what you want to do is actually go ahead and try run laterally. And obviously you can flip the play. And as you can see right there, it got really good blocking against an elite defense. Now the base audible is the halfback gut. And what's good about this play, it also works like an inside zone. And what you can do is just kick it to the outside to pick up some pretty good yards and really drive your opponent crazy. And I can flip the play to go to the other side. And with the nice turn off to the edge, I can go pick up some pretty good yards on the corner. Or I could just take it right up the gut if the hole's available to me. All right, so my first audible is going to be mesh. Um, I can leave this play the way it is, or I can go ahead and uh, make some adjustments. And what I like to do is to take the tight end and put him on a automatic uh, hitch route or a hook route. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take Walker and put him on a hitch route. And basically, I'm going to look for him to determine whether it's man or zone. If it is man coverage, I either can hit Walker or I can hit Douglas on the deep corner route. Um, if it's zone coverage, I've got a levels concept with Sankey going out in the flat and I've got a drag going across the middle. And sometimes Walker will fall into a void in the zone, so actually that would be an easy pickup. So let's go ahead and see what it is. It looks like it's man coverage and basically be able to hit the corner route for big pickup yards. Looks like I got off coverage, so it is zone. And right here, able to go ahead and force the ball into to Walker, but sometimes you get better reads with that. So let's go back to this again and see if we get man or zone coverage. Looks like it's man coverage, and as you can see right here, right uh, will beat his man, his defender across the field, and that's the best corner. And my opponent does do some kind of a blitz. I can always go ahead and check up to the flats and look at the blocking right there on a, on a cover three blitz right there. 
So this will be attacking your opponent on the left side of the field. The next play we're going to take a look at is going to be attacking my opponent on the right side of the field. Alright, so the next auto we're going to look at is going to be the bench switch. And uh, basically what I do is I want to black, uh, block my running back. I'm going to take my tight end and actually put him on a slant route. And then I can go and either streak up my, my uh, flanker or actually put him on a hook route for a fast progression. So right here we're going to go ahead and take uh, my tight end and put him on a slant route. I'm going to block up my, my uh, running back and I can either streak up my flanker or actually go ahead and put him on a hook route depending on what I feel comfortable with with, with my opponent, especially if they're, they have to defend. So my progressions are really going to be uh, the tight end. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to go ahead and see if the, the tight end gets a free release. If he does, I can actually hit him over the middle. If it's man coverage, I've got to look uh, at right on the corner route. He might be able to get coverage. If it is a cover three blitz or some kind of a blitz, usually Dixon should be wide open. And then obviously I can act, go ahead and hick up, uh, hitch up uh, my wide receiver Douglas or put him on a streak. I'm going to leave him on a streak in this particular situation. Now this is actually a cover three blitz, so I'll go ahead and check down to that immediately. And a lot of times that tight end is going to get wide open depending on the coverage. And sometimes I can actually go ahead and hit the corner route against my opponent to pick up some monster yards if he's in the wrong coverage or if he's in man coverage. And I've also got this streak route over the middle for a nice aggressive catch to go ahead and force my opponent to defend the seams too. And the final play we're going to look at is play action boot slide. This is not a play that I run a lot, primarily because of the adjustments that need to be made. Um, and I just don't like a lot of the play action plays with this. But the adjustments that I would make with this, because I've got that unique route, is to go ahead and take uh, Walker and put him on a an out route. I'm going to take Dixon and put him on an option route because that gives me a man beater. And I'm going to go ahead and take my running back. I'm going to leave him in a block. I don't want to have that animation. My first read is going to be Walker on the uh, on the out route. And if a man to follows him in man coverage, I'm going to be looking for Dixon the other way around. If it is zone coverage, I've got a levels concept and I've got a streaking Douglas that actually is going to be going up the field for a pop shot. Um, if there's a flat out by Walker, then I can check up to right because just there's not going to be any defenders in the area. So once again, I'm going to go to the flat. I've got actually a check down because Dixon falls in, Dickerson falls into a nice little area right there. To go back again, nobody falls in the flat and it, I'll take the easy five or six yards on this play. Against the right coverage, you can actually go ahead and hit a seam if you leave that play action in. Also, you can go ahead and take a shot up top if you've got a good wide receiver that can make a big grab for you. This concludes this part of the Tennessee Titans playbook uh, ebook scheme. Uh, you can access the other parts of the scheme by clicking on the icon starting with the very top, the single back ace wing. And you can click on the icon for the week close to go ahead and see that. And then the gun wide trips half back week. And if you want to see live game play against a real life opponent, go ahead and simply click on the image of the gameplay. Once again, to all my subscribers, thank you for your support. And until next time.